Brighton confirm former player Enik Mwapu taken ill in native Zambia Enik Mwapu, the former Brighton midfielder, is undergoing tests in hospital after being taken ill in his native Zambia. The Premier League club has said. Mwapu was forced to retire from football at the age of 24 last year after being diagnosed with a potentially life-threatening heart condition. The Zambia international had fallen ill on a flight in October to meet up with his international teammates and spent time in hospital in Mali before returning to Brighton, where tests revealed the hereditary condition. In a statement published on their website on Sunday, Brighton said, the club can provide the following update on Enik Mwapu. In response to media reports, Enik was taken unwell in Zambia and is currently undergoing precautionary checks. Our medical team is in communication with the hospital to assist if required. The club would like to thank the many well-wishers for their messages and support. The club nor Enik wish to provide any further comment at this stage. After his retirement, Mwapu wrote on Twitter that he had achieved his dream of playing football at the highest level, adding, some dreams however come to an end. So it is with sadness I announce the need to hang up my boots because of medical advice I have received. This is however not the end of my involvement with football. I plan to stay involved in some capacity. Mwapu, who was known as, the computer, in his homeland for his ability to read the game, made 27 appearances in total for Brighton, scoring three goals. And won 23 caps for Zambia we have a small favour to ask. Millions are turning to The Guardian for open, independent, quality news every day. And readers in 180 countries around the world now support us financially. We believe everyone deserves access to information that's grounded in science and truth and analysis rooted in authority and integrity. That's why we made a different choice, to keep our reporting open for all readers, regardless of where they live or what they can afford to pay. This means more people can be better informed, united, and inspired to take meaningful action. In these perilous times, a truth-seeking global news organization like The Guardian is essential. We have no shareholders or billionaire owner, meaning our journalism is free from commercial and political influence, this makes us different. When it's never been more important, our independence allows us to fearlessly investigate, challenge and expose.